Ukrainian Catholic Women's League Museum of Edmonton. The UCWLC ladies founded the museum in 1952 that specializes in cultural artifacts which were brought to Canada by Ukrainian pioneers who arrived in the 1890s. The museum's permanent collection and rotating exhibits focus on ethnographic artifacts brought by successive waves of immigrants and their descendants. The artifacts include textiles, embroidered ushnike, kileme, wedding headdress, embroidered shirts, leather bootwear, bustale, also um, aprons, ribbons, and skirts, ladies' skirts, ritual breads, Easter eggs, ceramic and wooden decorative items. All items are accessioned indicating the donor, a description and a photograph. At this time, there are over 2,600 accessioned artifacts in the museum. This year, the museum will be celebrating its 70th anniversary. The Korovai. The Korovai is a traditional wedding bread decorated with flowers, wheat stems, leaves, and birds made of dough. A korovai is also made to commemorate a special occasion. This korovai was made on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of this museum. Framed pictures show us the many different embroidery stitches that decorate Rushnike. Some embroidery uses only red and black threads. Many different colors are used when embroidering. Kirsatke Keptarike are sleeveless vests that are worn by girls, boys, as well as adults. They are made of woolen material decorated with hand-stitched embroidery, embroidery or beads. Some are made of patterned material. The designs are specific to different regions of Ukraine. This picture was taken on September 30th, 1917 here in Edmonton on the occasion of the opening of the Ukrainian National Hall. It was attended by our first Ukrainian Bishop Nikita Butka, as well as many government officials and Ukrainian people. The statue of Bishop Butka is located on the grounds of St. Joseph Cathedral. Headdress. The Vinok is a traditional wreath worn by young girls or unmarried women. We also see headdresses for brides. At the end of the wedding, a headdress was replaced by an ochipok or a kerchief. Leather goods. All these items are made out of leather. Men's and ladies' boots, a wide uh, decorated man's belt, postole, moccasins, purses. These items were made by a cobbler, not bought at a store. The cross. This wooden cross was hand carved by Mikola Yakinets in 1907 for the parish of New Cave here in Alberta. Rushnike. An embroidered rushnik was found in every home. It was always draped around an icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Jesus. A rushnik was also used in religious ceremonial events such as weddings and funerals. Knyaz, Prince Volodymyr, and Knyahenya Olha. The year was 988 when Knyaz Volodymyr of Kiev Rus, now Ukraine, accepted Christianity and baptized his people in the river Dnipro. Knyahenya Olha was his grandmother. She took care of Volodymyr when he was a child and encouraged him to become a Christian. Both Volodymyr and Olha are venerated as saints. 34 years ago, 1988, your parents and the Ukrainian people all around the world celebrated 1,000 years of Christianity in Ukraine. Our community built a special float that took part in the Stampede Parade in Calgary and Klondike Days in Edmonton. Pisanke, Ukrainian Easter eggs. A pisanka gets its name from the word pesate, which means to write. This is because a stylus, a kistka, is used to write lines and patterns on a raw egg. 
The kistka is heated in a candle flame, then dipped into beeswax, and the design is written on the egg. A wax resist technique is used in dyeing the eggs. Using inedible dyes ranging in colors from the lightest to the darkest. Common colors being yellow, green, orange, red, and black. Portraits of Taras Shilchenko. Born March 9, 1814, died March 10, 1861. Taras Shilchenko, also known as Kubzar, is Ukraine's most known and loved poet, artist, and founder of the modern Ukrainian language. Korsia of Hutzel Decorative Ceramics. The art of Hutzel Carpathian ceramics began in the 15th century and continues to this day. The area around Kosiu is rich in clay, which allowed local artisans to develop the craft of making pottery. Hutzel potters pr produced mostly household items such as bowls, plates, and cups. Decorative ceramics originated in the 18th century. These were mostly candlesticks and tiles. The tiles were used to decorate the stoves, which were the heart of the home. These tiles use natural yellow, green, and brown colors. They feature stylized images of flowers, trees, and animals. On our display, you see a variety of items that decorate our homes. In December 2019, Kossiev ceramics were added to the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage.